Welcome to Howard Brown Online Barber College. Today we are going to go through the review questions for basic learning styles and principles. An individual's preferred method of thinking, understanding, and processing of information is called their, is it learning curve, learning style, intelligence quotient, or preferred method of learning. If you chose B, learning style, you are correct. Diverse learners need more than sequential analytical teaching. Thus, the master educator will vary teaching strategies, show more videos, play Jeopardy type games, assign more projects. If you chose A, vary teaching strategies, you are correct. Sensory learning styles include seeing, hearing, and smelling, seeing, hearing, and talking, seeing, hearing, touching, and tasting, seeing, hearing, and touching. If you chose D, seeing, hearing, and touching, you are correct. The kinesthetic learner enjoys reading alone, being physically involved, listening to lectures, nature. If you chose B, being physically involved, you are correct. Learning is a four-step process. The blank step involves processing and understanding information. Is it repetition? desire, input, assimilation. If you chose D, assimilation, you are correct. The blank step of the learning process involves practicing the underlying theory or practical application until the information or task has been mastered. Is it repetition? Input, assimilation, or desire. If you chose A, repetition, you are correct. When students receive information in an environment conducive to learning, it is called assimilation, desire, repetition, input, and environment. If you chose D, input and environment, you are correct. What does Howard Gardner mean when he says that education is not unitary? Students can be smart in many ways. Students can be smart in only a few ways. Students learn in unison. Students can only learn in one way. If you chose A, students can be smart in many ways, you are correct. Howard Gardner has identified six intelligences, seven intelligences, eight intelligences, nine intelligences. If you chose D, nine intelligences, you are correct. The student who has the ability to successfully communicate, listen, read, write, and speak possesses verbal linguistic intelligence, body kinesthetic intelligence, visual spatial intelligence, musical rhythmic intelligence. If you chose A, verbal linguistic intelligence, you are correct. When teaching the verbal linguistic learner, use metaphors, similes, and paraphrasing. Assign journaling activities. Employ word games, mnemonics, and affirmations. All of the above.
If you chose D, all of the above, you are correct. The ability to understand space and to comprehend and create images is related to the, is it verbal linguistic intelligence, visual spatial intelligence, body kinesthetic intelligence, musical rhythmic intelligence. If you chose B, visual spatial intelligence, you are correct. To appeal to visual spatial learners, the master educator's lessons would include lecture only, text readings, listening to tapes, designing graphic logos and flyers. If you chose D, designing graphic logo, logos and flyers, you are correct. Color coding notes so that each topic is in the same color is extremely helpful for verbal linguistic intelligence, logical mathematical intelligence, visual spatial intelligence, or intrapersonal intelligence. If you chose C, visual spatial intelligence, you are correct. Students who are good with sorting, classifying, sequencing, evaluating, and predicting display the verbal linguistic intelligence, visual spatial intelligence, logical mathematical intelligence, musical rhythmic intelligence. If you chose C, logical mathematical intelligence, you are correct. When planning lessons with the logical mathematical student in mind, include evaluating ideas, classifying and categorizing information, making charts and graphs, all of the above. If you chose D, all of the above, you are correct. A logical mathematical intelligence study tip would be to study on the way to class, try not to reflect on the information, study in a cluttered area, study in a quiet place. If you chose D, study in a quiet place, you are correct. Learners who would rather be left to their own resources, who think better on their own instead of bouncing ideas off others, possess interpersonal intelligence, intrapersonal intelligence, environmental intelligence, naturalist intelligence. If you chose B, intrapersonal intelligence, you are correct. Activities that appeal to the intrapersonal intelligence include working with small learning groups, assigning workbook activities, arranging internet research projects, both B and C. If you chose D, both B and C, you are correct. During planning time, the master educator will use demonstrations or hands-on involvement to grasp the attention of the student with bodily kinesthetic intelligence, visual spatial intelligence, logical mathematical intelligence, verbal linguistic intelligence. If you chose A, bodily kinesthetic intelligence, you are correct. To appeal to the bodily kinesthetic intelligence, have students role play, have students play charades, assign workbook activities, both A and B. If you chose D, both A and B, you are correct. Study tips for the student with bodily kinesthetic intelligence include pace and recite while studying, use flashcards with another student, make notations of the chapter, 
both A and B. If you chose D, both A and B, you are correct. The ability to relate to others, noticing their moods, motivations, and feelings represents the, is it, intrapersonal intelligence, naturalist intelligence, interpersonal intelligence, verbal linguistic intelligence. If you chose C, interpersonal intelligence, you are correct. Activities to enhance the learning of students strong in the interpersonal intelligence include team building activities, working alone, individual workbook activities, journal writing. If you chose A, team building activities, you are correct. The ability to comprehend and create meaningful sounds and the ability to keep rhythm is indicative of, is it verbal linguistic intelligence, visual spatial intelligence, bodily kinesthetic intelligence, musical rhythmic intelligence. If you chose D, musical rhythmic intelligence, you are correct. Having students write and perform musical jingles, put vocabulary into music or jingle format, and write a song including facts about the subject matter would be appropriate activities for students with strong verbal linguistic intelligence, musical rhythmic intelligence, visual spatial intelligence, naturalistic intelligence. If you chose B, musical rhythmic intelligence, you are correct. While studying, the musical rhythmic intelligent student will be found playing background music, beating out rhythms, writing a rap about the topic, all of the above. If you chose D, all of the above, you are correct. Being able to make distinctions in the natural would be, would and discriminate, discriminate between natural and non-natural items is a trait of the visual spatial intelligence, verbal linguistic intelligence, naturalist intelligence, bodily kinesthetic intelligence. If you chose C, naturalist intelligence, you are correct. The student with keen observational skills who can identify brands of cars, places, sneakers, or handbags is strong in the visual spatial intelligence, naturalist intelligence, verbal linguistic intelligence, bodily kinesthetic intelligence. If you chose B, naturalist intelligence, you are correct. Teaching activities that would interest the student with the naturalist intelligence include listing natural ingredients and products, teaching aromatherapy, recording changes in hair, skin, or nails, all of the above. If you chose D, all of the above, you are correct. When studying, the naturalist intelligent student might find satisfaction in sorting and classifying subject matter, outdoor study when practical, taking a nature walk during study breaks, all of the above. If you chose D, all of the above, you are correct. Knowing how we learn best enables students and educators to make better choices, use one intelligence, study harder, read better.
If you chose A, make better choices, you are correct. Identifying all students' styles of learning will enable them to look for a work environment that best suits them, receive better grades, none of the above, both A and B. If you chose D, both A and B, you are correct. As master educators, we must present our teaching methodologies to reach only intelligences like our own, reach all intelligences, reach ethnicities like ours, reach students with disabilities. If you chose B, reach all intelligences, you are correct. As long as the brain is still functioning, the age limit for developing in the interpersonal, intrapersonal, and logical mathematical intelligence is 50 to 60 years of age, 60 to 70 years of age, 70 to 80 years of age, no age limit. If you chose D, no age limit, you are correct. When delivering lessons, the educator should attempt to reach at least one or two intelligences in every class, two or three intelligences in every class, three or four intelligences in every class, four or five intelligences in every class. If you chose C, three or four intelligences in every class, you are correct. During the course of the week, educators should have addressed, is it four or five of the intelligences, five or six of the intelligences, six or seven of the intelligences, all of the intelligences. If you chose D, all of the intelligences, you are correct. The standard IQ, intelligence quotient, test measures verbal linguistic and bodily kinesthetic intelligences, verbal linguistics and logical mathematical intelligences, musical rhythmic intelligence, interpersonal intelligence. If you chose B, verbal linguistics and logical mathematical intelligences, you are correct. Our students' learning styles may change due to circumstances, subject matter, time of day, both A and B. If you chose D, both A and B, you are correct. As a master educator, you have the ability to enhance the brain power of your students by delivering content that reaches all intelligences, giving IQ tests, keeping accurate test scores, maintaining student data. If you chose A, delivering content that reaches all intelligences, you are correct. This concludes this review. For more classes, visit our website at howardbrownonline.com. Remember that barbering starts in the book.